Okay, so this time on... What the dog doing? Yeah, um, Pachita's trying to get home because, you know, his, his parents are wor probably worried about him because this dude got turned into a dog, like, a while ago. And, he, you know, he can't get home. So he's... He, he's tr this little dude is just trying to jump at the door and unlock it by himself. But he's like a tiny-ass dog. It's so funny. They extended the scene a little bit, I think, in the anime compared to the manga. So then he gets picked up by Inukai. And then she's like, oh, hey, you want to go walk, go for a walk? And he's like, well, you know, I'm not really sure what happened to me before I turned into a dog, but, you know, probably not, you know, not probably not bad. You know, maybe I don't mind being a dog. So she's like, hey, you want to go outside? He's like, yeah, oh my gosh, you taking me on a date? Yo, let's go. But then, you know, she, she's just putting a dog collar on him. He's like, oh, damn it. So I'm still a dog. You know, just a bit of a crotch shot right there. And so they start going outside. This has a little bit less, I think, first person in it compared to the last episode. I'm not sure. I think it's about the same. Like here, it shows like a shot of her from above, where you know, because he's down here, he's looking at her. He's like, "Well, yeah, you know, damn it, I really am the dog now." So, all right, we're going. And then. You know, he starts walking outside, starts commenting about how, like, everything's really huge compared to the fact that he's, like, a fucking tiny-ass puppy. So, he's walking around on all fours. And then there's, like, two girls that notice him, and they're like, Oh, the doggy's cute. Look at the little doggy. And he's like, No, they're looking at me. Stop looking at me. Oh. I've done to cover my ass. <laughs> yeah, and then it comes to the shot where she's, like, walking around. And it's in first person again where you can see inukai son from his point of view. And then they're walking around, and then this part is a bit different from how the. Uh, oh wait, no. So then this part, she starts, you know, she starts having fun, and then, you know they start running. Looks a bit weird in the anime, and then like he's like, oh fuck, I can see her, her entire panties and everything. He's like, I can see everything. Oh my god, Inukai san. Yeah, so then they start running, and then this part is different in the manga, like the way it was um, choreographed. So this baseball shows up because this kid hit a baseball, like some somewhere else, and she's you know she's walking and she's about to get hit, but she just jumps in up. So in the manga, I, I think Pochita jumps in and hits the baseball, or hits it with his face, which is why his face hurts later on. He hits it with his face and then he falls down. Here, I think he just pulls the dog collar or the the leash on the dog collar, and she falls down. And he doesn't, yeah, she doesn't get hit by it. He doesn't seem to get hit. But he still falls down directly on her crotch, like in the manga. And he's like, oh shit, I think I, I think I hit my, stubbed my nose on something. Wait, where am I? Yeah, and then it gets to this very questionable scene right here, where uh, he's on Inukai-san's crotch. And he's like, oh shit, I can't see anything. I need to get out of here. He's like, maybe if I move this, and then, oh, and then you know, he's touching her unmentionables right now. And, yeah, it's just, see, this angle right here is different from the manga, where, you know, it was re originally from Pochita's point of view, where you would see the nose up to the crotch, but I almost think that this camera angle from, from behind uh, Pochita looks a bit funnier, because, like, it, it's almost like someone else looking at the scene instead of it being from his point of view, and it almost looks worse in a way, where it's like, oh, God, no, what, what the fuck? Like, if you, if you pause the anime and this scene, or someone walks in on you when you're watching this scene, like, they're gonna, they're gonna be asking some serious questions. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he gets stuck there, and she's like, no, 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 bad dog, don't do that in public. See, don't do that, that's not for you. <laughs> don't go there. Yeah, and then, you know, she's like, oh, thanks for, you know, preventing me from getting hurt. And she's like, oh, wait, but y you got a little boo-boo. Oh no, because the dog knows you hurt your nose is hurt. Maybe I should try and kiss it to feel better. I mean, lick it to feel better. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kaisa? And then those kids show up and they want to apologize for almost hitting her with the baseball. And they're like, oh, you know, we're sorry, we're sorry. And then her face is just fucking completely like, like, no f fucking expression. She's just like, pissed but like she does not fucking care about these children <laughs> she's just like 
She just goes into full, like, m mean. Oh, she don't give a single fuck. She's like, oh, really? You fucking care now? Little dog come walking through this park. Be careful, okay? And they're like, oh, uh, <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, he just takes the ball. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, bro. Oh my god, dude, this bitch is scary. Run. <laughs> She's mean. Yeah, and then, you know, she starts going back to normal. And he's like, uh, I guess Inuka san doesn't only likes dogs, not humans. He's like, you know, you know, maybe being a dog isn't bad. And then, like, uh, he has to start. And then, like, he starts feeling a weird thing in his crotch. No, it's not him getting an erection. It's, uh, he has to go pee. And he's like, what in the hell is going on down there? And she's like, oh, you need to go. You want to go pee, you little doggy? She's like, oh, do you have to pee? <laughs> oh, no. So they start walking. And it's like, oh, uh, oh, shit. What? He's like, oh, fuck, what is going on now? She's like, it's okay. You can pee right here. Just pee right here by this, like, uh, telephone pole. And an electrical pole. And he's just like, oh. No, I don't want to do it. He's like, I gotta pee outside, dude. He's like, no, no way. He's like, but you know, guys, I was watching. I can't fucking pee right here with this bitch watching. And then like, she starts whipping out her phone. <laughs> in the, um, yeah, in the manga, um, she, they they make it so that she only takes like one picture, but then in the anime, she's taking like an obsessive amount of pictures. He's like, no, I can't take, I can't pee in front of, like, the girl that I like. He's like, I can't do it. And then right here, it zooms in, like, on him looking at the, the mirror in the street. And he's like, I can hold it in. There's no way. I'm not, I'm not going to pee. I'm good. I can hold it. I'm, I'm strong. And then, like, in the next, and then it just jump cuts to him peeing in the next scene. <laughs> he couldn't do it. It's still funny, just like in the manga. And then they have this part, I don't know if this part was in the manga, but she commentates like, Oh, oh, it's cute how your legs shakes when you pee. <laughs> yeah, then like, you start taking like, a picture, and then like, you see it, uh, the phone change into different angles. Like, vertically and horizontally, she's like, stop taking pictures, and then like, it shows, it cuts to this part. Where it shows her, Pachita from her perspective, where he just looks like a normal dog, and they have the anime eyes. And she starts taking pictures, and then the, the camera starts flashing, the phone starts flashing like multiple times, and it's like, she's taking like a billion fucking photos. <laughs> she's almost like, um, what is that thing called? Time lapsing the entire fucking pee sequence that he's doing right here. <laughs> and he's like, no! So that's only like the first seven minutes, and then the first seven minutes uh, goes, that's all of chapter two, so now it goes into chapter three. Which they don't adapt the full thing of, they only do half of it. Where, you know, he's back at inside in the house. And he's like, oh, you know, I kind of want to go back, I want to be back to being a human. I want to tell Inukai-san how I feel about her. You know, he walks up to her as a dog and he's like, bark, 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 bark. And he's like, I love you, but all she hears is a fucking dog bark. Okay, so here's the part that confuses me. Uh, there's a part here where, you know, he, he's trying to get her to understand. And she thinks that he's hungry. Yeah, she's like, oh, you're hungry. And there's a part where she grabs, like, a piece of food with her mouth. And then, like, she puts it in his mouth while she's also eating it. So it looks kind of inappropriate. It's almost like a very weird, suggestive scene. But, like, that part is completely cut out from the anime. But I'm not sure if they're saving it for later. Or if it's going to be part of a Blu-ray release. Or, or if it's just completely omitted because they think that scene is a little too inappropriate even though there's plenty of other questionable stuff that they've done so far yeah so it's like oh yeah so that part gets skipped and then his friend Nekotani shows up or Mike Nekotani shows up and then you know they, they start studying and shit also I, I don't remember him calling her a Gyaru Bimbo I don't remember that that part is a bit mean but okay Okay, Puchita, I don't remember that part in the manga, but, you know, she starts playing around with her, because, like, I guess girls are very friendly like that. Yeah, and then, you know, they start studying, and that part's not very interesting, you know, it's just... But it, it does show Nikotani's personality, she's my favorite character in the manga. She's best girl. He's like, hmm, well, you know, if I could get Nikotani alone, 
I could get her- I can get her attention, and then I could get her to, like, send me back to my house somehow, because I think his house is right next to Nekotani, uh, Inukai-san's house. He's like, well, that's the last place I remember being human. My family must be worried sick, so, you know, I need to try and get home. But, how the fuck am I supposed to get home? And he's like, oh, well, I could trick her, you know, thinking, like, I could woo her and be like, oh, oh look at the dog, so cute. Oh, what a cute dog. Uh, maybe I should take you home with me. So, you know, then he could run off and get back into his house. But, you know, then, uh, what was it? Then, uh, Inu Kaisan has to leave. And then it ends here, unfortunately, where he's getting ready to do his plan to try and get her attention. So, next week, we'll see, uh, some of the more suggestive stuff that happens in the third, in the third chapter. Where all this hilarious stuff happens with Nekotani and Pochita. But, oh well, you're gonna have to wait till next week. So, because they wanted to adapt the one and a half chapters, I guess? I'm not really sure what the pacing is going to be like, because the first episode was just the first chapter. And every chapter has like 20 or so pages, so... I'm not really sure what they're gonna do this time, but also the ending... Uh, and the ending sequence is a bit different. Like, I think the song is still the same. But, like, it shows a different perspective, so now it's showing, like, the camera in real life, like, pointed near the floor with, um, Inukai-san walking with the leash, so it's kind of simulating, like, Pochita's point of view, walking around in Japan. So I think that's kind of funny, because in the last episode, the first episode, it was, like, side, a side view of, um, Usagi, in Iku uh, Inukai-san, and Nekotani, so we'll find out what happens next week. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, See you later.